Hi guys. Oh my god. Let's do that over. Hi guys. Today's video, I have no idea what the title is going to be called, but I basically wanted to talk to you guys about kind of the whole situation with me and my family's like story being passed around the internet and all these articles being posted about us and stuff like that because I get messages multiple times a week to this day talking about like, oh my God, Raiden, I saw this place post an article about you and stuff like that. And I haven't really made a video talking about it. We, I did mention in a vlog kind of the day the original people posted our article. So I talked about that, but I never would have expected like what came after to happen. Thought I would just get into it. Basically, I guess you could say we went viral, but I feel like people are gonna have a hissy fit over what the, what's like viral and what's not. Basically what happened is, let me just give you kind of a little rundown. We did a interview, a phone interview with a magazine called Good Housekeeping and they posted it online and after that literally shit hit the fucking fan. All these people were copying and pasting the story, putting it in newspapers, putting it in magazines and they were mixing like a ton of details up, making up lies about us and it was all over the world. Like it was in Israel, it was in the UK, it was in Amsterdam and I know Amsterdam and Israel had two, Israel had two different newspaper people post our story like in, in a physical copy and Amsterdam had like us in a magazine and I also know the UK also had a print form of our story in the magazine. Um, and those are just like a few places off the top of my head that I can remember that this was out to, but it pretty much was in every country. I know is or Australia really wanted to fly us out for their for this like morning show, but we ended up declining. And also, um, this sorry, I'm getting like notifications. This oh my hair's looking a little wicky. People who I'm not gonna mention in case like it's legal or whatever, who get a ton of viewers daily, wanted us to do a story with them. What I wanted to touch on is number one, a lot of the stuff that was posted in the other articles was completely false. I feel like what the media did was they wanted to paint a picture of like, oh my God, these two rebellious teens came out as trans, defining their parents, blah, blah, blah. When that couldn't have been further from the fucking truth. And plus, I really wanted to get into how the media particularly painted me out of me and my brother as like the like weird one. I don't know. Okay, so basically also what happened, the Daily Mail UK posted our story on Snapchat. And if you go on Snapchat, here I'll show you, which follow me on Snapchat by the way, Raiden Quinn. If you go to like the stories right there, there'll be like the Daily Mail right up there. If you clicked on it, it, our story was like the second click or something, but basically anyone with the Snapchat had access to that. And what they put in that story seriously fucking mortified me. I was so upset. They completely not only twisted our words, but completely made up lies and also painted me out to be like some fucking monster. And I also wanted to touch on, I know I'm like being like also, also, but I feel like ever since Caitlyn Jenner came out in the media, the media has just been like painting male to female trans women as like these like freaks who like get a ton of fucking surgery and that's like all they want is like surgery, wear pink clothes, wear pink dresses, glittery, glittery nails, blah, blah, blah. But that's like all that's to them. That's what they painted me to be is basically someone who just came out for attention and stuff like that. When in reality, I've been out as trans since like 2012. I came out way before Caitlyn Jenner even was a thing. So let's get that straight, hunty. I was out before it was 
cool to be out before it was like trending to be out. So yeah, um, and I also have screenshots from the Daily Mail. This was the picture that they had on the cover. And as you can see, I don't even look like this anymore. This is what I'm talking about, how they wanted to paint me like this picture that I was like a monster. They put my picture when I was on one week of hormones, yet this was like two years ago. And they used this picture. I know they used this picture on purpose because like you're going to see that and you're going to be like freaked out and be like, what the fuck? Like, you can't look at this and be like, okay, like, they did nothing wrong. No, they, they knew what they were doing. They knew that, like, put painting, like, a trans woman in a bad light would get more clicks because I feel, I forget who brought this up. I think it was, like, Laverne Cox or something. Don't quote me, but, like, no, I think it was Amaya Scott, actually, who's going to be on that TV show. She, like, said that um, she ended up not being on the show because they were trying to make her, like, messy and, like, a typical trans person where, like, they're acting, like, bitchy and outrageous and, like, stuff like that. And that's definitely what they were trying to do with this. They couldn't have used a more recent picture. They had to have used a picture from two years ago, are you serious? But they could use my brother's most recent picture, okay. Someone sent me, like I said, I have all the screenshots. They said, both siblings after receiving counseling have decided to go ahead with gender reassignment surgery. Number one, bitch, where did we ever say that? We never said that at all. And number two, the way they worded it, they made it seem like, ugh, after like convincing them not to go through with gender reassignment surgery they just went through with it anyway like it was very negative it was not like non-biased or anything or neutral it was very like they just had to go through with like a sex change like ugh, like bitch fuck off dude like seriously okay not only did they do that but they also were referring to my brother by his correct pronouns they were saying like him blah blah, blah. They never referred to me as a woman or she or her. They, they called my brother a him and they called me a him. When I was in school, when I was in high school, I got shit from every single fucking person you could think of. And it could be that the times have changed a little bit, but my brother is out as trans in high school. No one has given him any type of shit. He walks down the hallway, no one blinks an eye. People are so accepting. Yet when I was in high school, people would like literally fucking punch me if they could. Like they would shove me. The teachers would call me to the principal's office for fucking no reason at all. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I was an angel, but I sure as shit minded my own business. I was a very good student, except for a few occasions. But even before those occasions, I still was personally picked on. Regardless if it was for me or because of my gender identity, it's definitely way easier for my brother. The teachers do not talk about him. Um, and if they do, they make it less obvious. His high school experience was complete opposite of mine. And uh, I feel like that really shows in the media too. I mean, they were just painting me out to be like this fucking monster and then again like they showed a picture of me and my brother they said um this is gavin yeah like they used like up-to-date pictures of gavin but they didn't use any fucking up-to-date pictures of me except like one or two and even when they like they still call me he and they still like they call gavin he which is good but they completely disrespected me and honestly it just pissed me off so much because I got a ton of messages from other people in the community, in the LGBT community, who felt completely disrespected from this article. And again, they had no permission to, to even post this stuff, let alone make up details or anything like that. Because of all of this, other people were taking that article and making up even more things. And uh, it was just so frustrating seeing all these like articles about me and my family that weren't true and how people were so cruel. I had to stop reading the comments. I don't even acknowledge like any of the newer articles that come out because they're just all hateful and 
honestly, a part of me can't blame them because of like how it's so easy to twist things. And like if I like I know someone who has had stuff written about them in the public and it was completely not true. But you look at the articles and it's like unless you're the person getting wrote about or unless you're the person getting stuff posted about you're gonna believe what you see. It's not like you're gonna see an article and be like, hmm, that could be not true. I mean, now I do that. Now I'm like skeptical on anything I see that's like this or like a huge story, I guess. I definitely do not believe everything in the media now, especially since I was like firsthand affected by it. I did write to Daily Mail UK. They did not um, respond. And it's so, I, I find it so ironic. They even have, a specific forum on the website that says like complain to us or something like why the fuck would you have that button if you weren't writing like offensive made up shit and it was like if you write to us we'll like remove whatever blah blah, blah. so I wrote to them and I know a few other people wrote to you because I posted on snapchat and I was so pissed off and I even had friends like message me and were like um girl did you see this because like that does not sound like you who wrote this. So like, I don't know if people are like fucking with you. And I was like, yup, yup, bitch. They fucking punked my ass. Yeah, and also I just want to quickly, quickly, quickly add in case like this gets misconstrued. I by no means meant when I was talking about me and my brother, I by no means mean that um, like an F to M or an M to F have it harder than one another that's not what i was trying to say i'm just trying i was just trying to explain that at the time caitlin jenner was really hot in the media and i feel like people would put like if a trans person walked outside someone would like take a picture and be like oh my god hear about margaret stepping into the world for the first time as a trans woman like they would post anything about trans people and it was just getting out of hand. So I'm not trying to say that like trans women have it harder than trans men because that is definitely not the case. I'm just saying that like for some reason it's just hot to like hate on trans women and I feel like it has something to do with Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner was all you were hearing about for months on end. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Yeah, I am annoyed. And yeah, um, nevertheless, I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.